Hey everybody, it's Susanna from Papercraft Planet. I was cruising blogs the other day and I saw this layout by Nicole McGuirk. It started me thinking that there needs to be a way to make these cool collages inside of Lightroom. After all, that's where my pictures are. So there are two parts to this process, um, the library module and the print module. So let's navigate to Lightroom and go into our library module and navigate to where we have our photos. And there's two ways you can do this. You can start off by selecting your photos or you can just have open the folder that you need. If you have photos selected, and I'm going to go ahead and select a couple just so you'll see. We're going to select the print module now. And I'm going to back up a step and tell you that the first thing you need to do is go under page setup and make sure that the paper size of your finished product is selected. I want to print this as an 8x10 and I'm going to print it here at home. So I'm going to go ahead and select 8x10 as my canvas size. If you are a digital scrapbooker and you're working on a collage that's going to take up your whole page, whether or not you have a 12x12 12 12 inch printer, go ahead and set this up to be paper size 12x12. 12 12. But what I have is fine so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So here's my canvas. I can drag up here and it will bring in all of my photos and then I can drag them around. Or if I would prefer, I can come over here and um, navigate through my folder and select the pictures and put them up where I want them to go. And sometimes when you're dealing with a large group of photos, it's a little easier to do it this way. So I'm going to come through and as I'm working with my photos, um, I might decide for instance that this one is too big and notice it holds the ratio no matter how I click and drag on it, top or bottom, it doesn't matter. I'm just holding down my shift key and I'm taking it where I want it to go. So let's put that there and I'm going to continue in this fashion until I get all the pictures that I want into, um, into my layout. Now let's pretend, because I'll show you a finished version of the collage when I'm done, but let's pretend this is exactly the way I want it to be. I have a couple choices. One, I can save this template. Let's say I love this and this is my design and I want to keep this forever. I can come over here to the template browser and I can click the plus button. I can um, name this whatever I want to call it and I can even create new folders by right by hitting create and that sets up a new user um, template for me and then the next time I come in here I don't have to go through the creation process again I can simply pick up which one I want and drop my photos into it um, notice that if I decided now I wanted to change my photo out the picture of me and Heidi Swap is now gone and it's replaced with another one. So these are very useful down the road. If you, for instance, always take 12 pictures on the 12th day of the month, you know, you can plug in those 12 pictures over and over and over again on your template. Okay, let's say that, um, here, let's get these in a slightly more attractive way so that you can um, see some of the tricks. All right, let's say that's the way I want it to be. Um, I can come under image settings and I can select a photo border and that puts a white line in between my photos and you can make this as small or as big as you want. I generally think two points is about right. If you don't want any at all, just uncheck that button. If you want an inner stroke, you could do that and what that is, and you can see as I slide the slider, that creates an inner border around your photo. This can be an incredibly cool effect, um, especially if you were doing one picture that you were then going to frame. And if you click here on this little black window, you can actually change the color of the inner stroke. You know, I can set it to pink or gray or blue or anything you want it to be and then you can see right there and I'm gonna just go ahead and set it back to black and turn it off because I don't want that at all 
Um, the next thing we can do is print it. So let's click print job down here at the bottom and we're going to tell it where we want it to print to. Let's say this was a 12 by 12 collage and I wanted to have it printed at Costco. I'm going to have it printed to a JPEG folder file and have that sent to my desktop or whatever folder I use for printing and it will come out exactly that way. Um, or I can choose to send it to my printer and when you're ready to hit go and you're done working on this you'll just hit the print button and your printer dialog box will print up and you'll be done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions or would like to see other videos like this one please check out www.papercraftplanet.com Thanks.